Hello and welcome to ComScience Simplified. If you have worked with JavaScript, you have definitely used the map and the filter method that JavaScript provides us right out of the box. In today's video, we will try to build our own versions for both of them to understand how they work in a better way. Let's try to implement the map method first and move ahead from there. The map method is called on an array and then passed a modify function to it as a param, which is the double function in this example. The map method runs this function on each and every element of the original array and returns an array that contains these modified elements in the corresponding positions. So how do we start to implement this? Let us give it a try. Let's call this function as myMap. It will accept an array and a modifier function as its two arguments. The first thing that we need to do is input sanitization. Thus, we check whether the first argument supplied is an array and also whether it has one or more elements. If not, we just return an empty array from our map implementation. Once the input is sanitized, we move to the iteration phase. We first create a new array in which the modified elements are to be stored and which will be returned at the end. We then iterate over the entire input array from index 0 to the last index. Then we run the callback function and pass it three things exactly as the original map method, the array element, its index and the entire original array. We also push the result of this callback function for every element into the result array and finally return the result array. And that's as simple as it gets. Here's the full code. Not so intimidating, right? It's basically just a single loop that accomplishes what the inbuilt map function does. Now let us look at the implementation of the filter method. The only difference between this and the map implementation is that before adding the item to the result array, we check whether the callback function returns true when called with that item and then we push it to the result array. That tiny change makes the function behave as a filter function. To test out our custom map function, we can create a new array, declare a function called double and then execute the map like so. We will be able to see that the doubled array would contain the double value of each of the numbers. Similarly, for testing out the filter function, we define an isOrd function and execute it like so. As a result of this, the odds array will only contain odd numbers. And that's about it for today's video. Hope you learned something new today. See you in the next one.